All righty. Yes, ma'am. That's exciting. Water. Ma'am, just a reminder, you're still under oath, okay? Of course, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. All right, your question. Amber, just to orient you and the jury, at this time, we are in the rebuttal to your counterclaim against Mr. Depp. So I'm going to confine my questions to that, okay? All right. How have you suffered publicly as a result of the Depp Waldman statements? Well, I made a video. Objection, speculation. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> I am harassed, humiliated, threatened. Yep. Every single day. And it's not going to stop. Even just walking into this courtroom, sitting here in front of the world. Getting emotional about being embarrassed. Having the worst parts of my life. As usual. Things I've lived through used to humiliate me. Yep. People want to kill me, and they tell me so every day. Second. People want to put my baby in the microwave, and they tell me that. Johnny threatened, promised, promised me mm -hmm. that if I ever left him, he'd make me think of him every single day that I lived. Objection, Your Honor, non-responsive. Right. I'll sustain the objection as to that, if you want to ask the question. Amber, how okay. did Mr. Depp's statements and threats to you that you were discussing how do those continue to manifest themselves people harassing today? johnny's kids too uh, it's just in the harassment and the humiliation the campaign against me that's echoed every single day on social media mm -hmm. and now in front of cameras how she know that i room. thought she wasn't supposed to check every single day i have to relive the trauma my hands shake I wake up screaming. I, I have to live with the trauma and the damage done to me. Mm -hmm. My friends have to live with a set of unspoken rules about how to not scare me. Objection hearsay. Yes, sir. Unspoken rules. What does that mean? Oh, Go ahead. About how to not touch me, not to surprise me. My intimate partners have rules about how they can deal with me, how they can touch me. I have rules for doctors and medical professionals I see, gynecologists I see. I live my life with these sets of rules that I have to follow, my friends have to follow for me not to have a panic attack or a triggering event where I relive the trauma. Even if I'm training to do my movie, for instance, if I'm training for Aquaman, a combat scene and a trigger happens, I have a meltdown and have to deal with that. The, the, the crew I work with have to deal with that because of the damage I walk around with every single day from what I've lived through, from what I've survived. I'm not sitting in this courtroom snickering. I'm not sitting in this courtroom laughing, smiling, and making snide jokes. I'm not. How do this you is know? Horrible. How do you know that? This is painful. How do you this know is that? It's humiliating for any human being to go through. And perhaps it's easy to forget that, but I'm a human being. And even though Johnny promised that I deserve this and promised he'd do this, I don't deserve this. Uh -huh. I want to move on. The statements, the attacks on me, the campaign, that, it, that Johnny has elicited millions of people to do on his behalf when he himself Objection, couldn't do it. Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. That's just bullshit. Speculation. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. Just shut question. up! Like it's not it instructed Amber, people to do. It told them to attack you. How have the Depp statements impacted TC your ability to do charitable work? You know, I would. The only reason that people like Dr. Curry can sit up here on the stand and say I'm high functioning and I do things like have hobbies and have interests. Objection, Your Honor, Mr. Depp gave long-winded oh. responses oh, yesterday. Good. It's because I found a solution to that pain. I woke up every morning with panic attacks and what? trauma until I realized I could do something with it. So to answer your question, Ben, it's I. 
I was able to turn the things that I've lived through, my pain, my life experiences, into work, into action, into providing a voice for other people. I'm not a saint. I'm not trying to present myself as one, as you all know, but I selfishly found relief in being able to use what I've lived through to advocate for others, to, to bring light to these issues, to give a voice to people who don't have the voice and the platform that I have. And while I would not wish this situation on my worst enemy, if it gives a voice to someone who doesn't have it, but I now, as I stand here today, can't have a career. I can't even have people associate with me because of the threats and the attacks that they have to endure. Objection non responsive. Are. And I can't so do my charity work. Sustain the objection. <laughs> Amber, other than the threats that you've described, what of other all the things for her to have say. you endured since the Depp Waldman statement? Oh, were made? God. Her I charity work. Hundreds of death threats regularly, if not daily, thousands since this trial has uh -huh. started people mocking, mocking my testimony about being assaulted. True. Making fun of my... Objection relevance, non-responsive. We did that. Oh, the damages. We did that because we think you're lying. You can continue. And all of the evidence implies that. Yes, it's we did that. Agonizing, agonizing, painful, and the most humiliating thing I've ever had to go through. No I hope no one ever stone. has to go through something like this. Oh, oh. I just want Johnny to leave me alone. I just want him to leave me alone. That's what he was saying. I've said that. For years now, and I thought he would after 2020. Objection non-responsive. Yeah, remember that? All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. What do you hope to reclaim after this is over? Money. Protecting the secret that I did for as long as I did has taken enough of my voice. Johnny, Johnny has taken enough of my voice. I have the right to tell my story. I have the right to say what happened to me. I have the right to my voice and my name. No, you don't. He took it long enough. I have a right as an American to talk about what happened to me, to own my story and my truth. It's free speech. I have that right. No, you don't. I hope no, to get no, my voice don't. back. You know that. That's why you're counter suing That's all you. I want. And I've said that from day one. Thank you, Amber. I don't have anything else. All right, cross-examination. It seems crazy. Like, I mean, she's so emotional about this, how calm she is after the, uh, the after break. I don't know. I mean, like, as I said, I don't really think that is super uh, telling. But I do think that this is, this is probably... I think that she's genuinely upset, for sure. I, I mean, of course she would be, right? She's losing her career. Everybody fucking hates her and, and everything, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Now, I, I think so, yeah. It's, it, of course she's genuinely upset. I think it would make logical sense that she was genuinely upset. I, I remember I've had to, uh, you, you know, back when my mom was in the hospital and everything, right? Especially the last days. I would go out and I would smile and I would wave to the security guard as I left the hospital. And then I would go out into my car and I would cry in my car for a half hour. So I don't think that it's necessarily that she's not being emotional at that exact moment or she can kind of turn it down whenever she's not talking about it. I don't find that to be a very compelling argument as to whether she's telling the truth or not. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a good factor. Uh, I think that it's also unfair to her to complain about getting attacked because what do you think happened to Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp got attacked too. Like, like, what do you think? Like, he just randomly lost all these roles for 
you know, because he was late to set a few times. And one of the times that he was late to set is probably because you cut off his fucking finger. And so he wasn't able to do that. And then to fucking uh, turn that around as if it's somehow his own fucking, uh, what's the word for this? Uh, his own, like, bad behavior. It's crazy. Johnny's own kids were getting attacked on social media by rabid stands that were mad that his kids weren't defending him as much as they thought they should. This is what the internet does. The, and, like, also, people are saying the bad stuff about him. Imagine how Johnny Depp felt after his career as a successful actor for over 40 years at the time, and he loses a fucking case that says, with big white and black letters, that he's a wife beater. It's like, imagine being called a wife beater in this day and age and thinking that you're going to have a career after that. It's awful. Okay, here we go. Ms. Heard, you just testified mm -hmm. that this case has been very hard for you. So let's talk about that and why. All right. Your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times, right? True. Right. I haven't lied about anything I've been here to say. You sat here and told the jury that the events in Hicksville started with Mr. Depp getting really upset about a woman leaning on you. Is that correct? Yes, that's effectively what happened, yeah. You yeah. testify that he actually grabbed that woman's wrist and twisted it, right? And told her that how he many could effectively of could break, break her wrist, wrist by saying he knew how many pounds of pressure, asking her how many pounds of pressure it took to I break remember. a human wrist. We remember. But your own witness, your former best friend, Rocky Pennington, she didn't corroborate that, did she? Uh, I'm not quite sure what part of that night she saw. There were a lot of people there. She didn't see she it. She didn't testify that Mr. Depp wrapped Nobody grabbed did. anyone's wrist in Hicksville. Again, I don't know what Rocky saw. There were a lot of people there that night. Huh, I'm you not sure. You yeah. testified that once you brought Mr. Depp back to your trailer, he trashed it, correct? That is correct. And the manager of the Hicksville trailer park was furious that Johnny had wrecked the whole thing. Do you remember that testimony? That's correct. Well, we heard from that manager of the Hicksville trailer park, Morgan Knight, on Monday, didn't we? I'm not quite sure who that guy was or if he had any involvement in this. I know a lot of people have come out of the woodwork to be in, involved. Ah. So you're accusing Mr. Knight of testifying and committing perjury? I'm not accusing anyone. I just don't recognize that man. Well, then why did you Mr. add Knight the other part? You heard that it was actually you who was upset with Mr. Depp spending time away from him. Isn't that correct? How would he know? He wasn't there. You heard Mr. Knight testify you know that it was actually there? you who was yelling at Mr. Depp. Again, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of things to be involved in the Johnny Depp show, but he wasn't there. He doesn't know. And he certainly doesn't know what happened behind closed doors, like most people. So you're calling Mr. Knight a liar? I am saying he wasn't there, and what he testified to doesn't match what I know happened. What you know happened. But I don't happened. fault him. He wasn't there, so how would he know? He testified he was there, Ms. Heard. Did you hear that? That's his testimony, yes. So you're calling him a liar? I'm just Say saying it. he wasn't there. Say it. You heard Mr. Knight testify that the trailer wasn't trashed, and that's why you're calling him a liar. He testified that a light fixture was broken, That's similar true. to the way that yes, Johnny's other than a light fixture, that was the only thing that was broken, being right? Ms. Heard, and things Ms. Like Heard, that. the only thing that was broken in the trailer, according to Mr. Knight, was a light fixture. Yes or no? I realized that he summed it up by saying a light fixture. I thought was you broken, said you weren't paying attention to what he said. Summed up him trashing my closet as being rearranged. Your Honor, I'm going to move to. You didn't even know what, what he, who he was. He summed it up that it was a light fixture. As non-responsive. She answered the question, Your Honor. Yeah. Over, overruled. In the security guard testimony, Your Honor. I'll allow it. Go ahead. Right. Mr. Knight also testified that he charged Mr. Depp only sixty-two dollars for the damaged light fixture. You heard that, correct? I did. Uh huh. In Hicksville, you were the only one that was jealous that Mr. Depp was spending time from other people. Isn't that correct, Ms. Heard? That is incorrect. In Hicksville, you were the one who was upset that Mr. Depp wasn't giving you enough attention. Incorrect again. Ms. Heard, you told this jury that you had no idea the press was going to be at the courthouse when you got your TRO on May 27th, uh -oh. 2016. Do you remember yes. that testimony? Yes. Uh, I said I did not have anything to do with it. Yes. No. My question again. You told this jury that you had no idea that the press was going to be outside after you got the ex-party TRO on May 27th, 2016. 
Do you remember that testimony? I apologize. I must have misunderstood Ms. Vasquez. Um, of course. I actually had no idea whether they were going to be there or not. When I walked oh. into the courtroom that day, it was completely quiet, still, empty. Even though I had given Johnny's team notice that Why I was is fine. she ongoing? Your Honor, this is not we had no reason to believe to that the press knew. And, Your Honor, I would also ask that you instruct the witness to please stop talking once I lodge an objection. Your Honor, she's trying to answer the question as best she can, and Ms. Vasquez is misrepresenting to her what she testified to. It's a very uh, simple question. The last part is non-responsive. Did you, you know they were going to be there staff. or not? Okay, thank you, Ms. Hurd. In fact, you testified that you were, quote, shocked when you saw press when you were leaving the courthouse. Yes? Yes. But... You weren't shocked at all, though, were you? Uh, incorrect. It was You knew the horrifying. press would be at the courthouse, right, Ms. Hurd? No. Well, you did bring your publicist to the courthouse with you on May 27th, 2016, didn't you? I sure did. I'm a public figure. I brought my publicist in case... It blew up in case. And you actually had alerted TMC that you would be filing a TRO against Mr. Depp that very day. You've been nodding. No, I did the not. The one day you didn't bother to wear makeup to cover up the mark on your face. I did not call TMZ or any other news source or paparazzi but source. But you know who no did. One. And you had a testimony that. from former TMZ employee Morgan Tremaine yesterday, correct? Did I hear his testimony? Yes. Yes, I was he here. Yes. And you heard Mr. Tremaine's testimony that he knew to dispatch the paparazzi to the courthouse on because May 27th, Because you would turn and show right? your cheek. I heard him say that he knew that, yes. Yeah, and that he dispatched paparazzi to the courthouse to capture a picture of an alleged bruise on the right side of your face. Do you remember him saying that? I remember him saying that. Oh, man. That information must have come from your team, right, Ms. Hurd? Absolutely not. Why would I want that? What actual survivor of domestic violence wants that? No, they don't. Now, the video of Mr. They, Depp they beating wouldn't. up some kitchen That's cabinets, the whole point. you admit that you took that video, correct? Yes, I did. All right. And you acknowledge that the video was released online the day before you were deposed in connection with your divorce from Mr. Depp in August of 2016, mm -hmm. right? I believe it was, yes. But you testified that you had absolutely nothing to do with the video's release, right? Absolutely not. And you testified that you learned about it when you landed after flying into L.A., do you remember that testimony? Upon touchdown is when I was alerted to the video's existence online. You heard Mr. Online. Tremaine testify that this about this video as well yesterday, didn't you? Yes, I did. And you heard Mr. Tremaine testify that TMZ received the cabinet video the same day you landed at LAX. Yes? I don't know if that I, I don't know if that's what his testimony was. I'm sorry. You heard Mr. Tremaine testify that the cabinet video was posted 15 minutes after, after received. TMZ received it. Yep. Yes. That's what I heard him say. And that this could only have been possible if the video was received directly from the source. Yes? I heard him say that. I don't know if that's true or if that's possible. So because it didn't work for me. I Mr. was flying. Tremaine. Is so he lying to me? I know that's incorrect is what I mean to say. Another liar on the stand? <laughs> I just know that that's <laughs> incorrect. Right. And you heard <laughs> Everybody's Mr. Tremaine lying. that TMZ owns the copyright to the cabinet video, right? That's news to me. The cabinet video you filmed of your then husband. Yes? The copyright ownership of that is news to me. I learned that yesterday. The copyright is generated the upon video inception. That you captured of your then so husband. So it would be your yes. copyright. That is correct. I did capture that video. And the yes, that video, was my husband. The same cabinet video that was released the night before you were deposed in your divorce. Yes? That's correct. Okay. You must have also heard Mr. Tomaine testify that the version of the cabinet video that TMZ received was incomplete compared to the video the jury saw in this trial. Did you hear that? Yes. The video that the jury, that you have seen is complete. Right, but the one TMZ got the uh -huh. day before your deposition in the divorce was incomplete. I don't know, I haven't seen it. He you testified recorded that it. the beginning portion of the video where you set up the camera, that wasn't included in the video that TMC received. I don't know what video TMZ I'm received. I'm talking about Mr. Tremaine's testimony, Ms. Hurd. Uh -huh. Let's just so focus asking on me Mr. to repeat Tremaine. his testimony? No, I'm asking you if you recall hearing him say those words to this jury. Yes, Under I heard his testimony. We all did. And he testified that the end of the video where you can see be seen smirking. I know you testified earlier that you haven't been smirking in this trial, but you sure were caught on camera smirking in that video. I disagree with that. Not in, was also not included in the TMZ video. Everyone can watch that video and you can determine whether you think it's funny to me or not. They did. That's because the video came That's from why they're you, attacking right, you on Mr. social media. No, it did not. You edited that video out did the not portions. Come to me. No, I mean, come from me. Ms. Heard, you edited out the portions that made you look bad before sending it to TMZ. Like, thanks for 50 seconds. <laughs> You're very wrong about that. Thank you so much. So that if I wanted to leak information, I could have bad. done it in a more effective way a lot sooner and a lot more.
Because I was living exactly with a mountain of this evidence. If I wanted to leak it, I could have done a lot more with it. A mountain? It's more but like a mole. You testified earlier in this trial that you didn't know how to leak things. I don't. Right. So then how You could... edited that video but... before you gave it to TMZ <laughs> so that only Mr. Depp would look bad. Yes? That's absurd. Right in the middle of your divorce proceedings. <laughs> Again, you're very wrong. Man. I'd like to show you um, she just a picture from, herself? that's already admitted into evidence. Yep. It's uh, Defendant's Exhibit 799. She's cooking her holy shit, yeah. This is you Once at the again, courthouse on so May 27th, 2016, when you got your domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, right? It is. And next, next to you is a woman is named Jody Gottlieb, Gottlieb, right? Right. Yes, That's her yes. publicist. Jody Gottlieb is your publicist. Yeah. And dear friend. Now I'd like to show you what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit 1316. Mm-hmm. This is a picture of you and your friend Rocky Pennington, right? That is correct. Your Honor, I'd like to move to admit this photograph. Okay, let's see. Any it. objection to this? So it is 25 good subs. Thank you guys for all the gifted. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. No, Your Honor. All right, 1316 in evidence. You can publish the jury. This is wow. a picture of, her of you on May 28th, 2016, Aww. right, Ms. Hurd? I don't know when this was taken. Aww. This is the day after you obtained the domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, right? I have no idea when this um, image was taken. I did not take it. There's no bruise on your face in this picture, is there? Again, I don't know when this was taken. And also, I'm outside. I was obviously wearing makeup. I have no idea when this was taken. So I have no idea if I can Let's speak to what bruise you can Let's see Let's refresh your recollection about when this picture was taken. Um, Good can idea. Can you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1315, just for the witness? Yeah, let's see it. Enjoy. Thanks for your fox. Thank you. This is an article dated May 30th, 2016, right, Ms. Hurd? That's what it says, yes. And this article contains the same photograph of you and Ms. Pennington we were just looking at. Yes? God damn. No, make Yes, I see that. It didn't and look the like article she had a lot is entitled on. Amber Heard Smiles as She Puts Arm Around Friend One Day After Getting Restraining Order Against Johnny Depp. Man. So that's that what the title says? Look at that. I know that's what the title says, yes. Okay. Your Honor, I'm going to move to admit and publish the All article. Right. Yep, with there it is. But the headline and date. They were the expecting redacted. her to say it was a lie, and so they got the article ahead of time, objection, predicting Honor, this to happen. Consistent from the way you've treated I'll, all of these. I'll sustain the objection. All right. Next question. Let's take a look at picture plaintiff's exhibit 1317. Okay. This is also a picture of you and Miss Pennington on May 28th, 2016, isn't it? I don't know when this photo was taken, but it looks like the same outing as the picture prior. Your Honor, uh -huh. I'm going to move to admit and publish. Plaintiff's Exhibit 1317. Any objection? No, Your Honor. 1317 in evidence. You can Let's it. see it. I want to see it. Let's get it. I want to get it. There's no bruise on your face in this face picture, picture either, right? either, right? We saw this one. I disagree. Uh, if it is taken when you represent it was taken, then obviously there's a bruise on my face. It's covered by makeup as per usual. Let's zoom out of that picture for a moment, please. Thanks, Tom. That's Josh Drew in this picture, right? Yes. That's the That's guy. And Miss Pennington. That is, is correct. In there too? Ms. That is Pennington correct. Ms. submitted a sworn statement on your behalf in support of your domestic violence restraining order, didn't she? Yeah. I believe she did, yes. She did. Mr. Drew also submitted a statement in support of your domestic violence restraining order. I believe they both did, yes. They mm -hmm. did. Mr. Hurd, I'd like to show you Defendant's Exhibit 512, which is already in evidence. Okay, let's see it. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, makeup. Yeah. You've seen this photograph before, right? I have. On the second day of your direct testimony, uh -huh. you testified that this was taken in the downstairs of the main apartment on December 15th, 2015. Do you recall that testimony? Uh, yes, I believe so. So it's your testimony that Defendant's Exhibit 512 mm -hmm. reflects damage to Penthouse 5 that occurred during the December 15th, 2015 incident. Yes? Uh, I'm not quite sure from what incident this is when I see this photo in a in a vacuum without context. She Let's suddenly forgot everything. Can we please? Bro, she's forgetting everything now. Trial testimony? Bro, I don't remember. Like, oh, oh man, oh, I don't know, dude. All right. 
Oh, dude, I have no idea. Like, she had makeup on. Like, did it look like she had makeup on? I'm going to be honest. Like, I, I like I can kind of tell whenever a girl is, is and is not wearing makeup. But, like, I'm not really an expert on this kind of shit. I never really have worn makeup before. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So, it, it certainly looked like she, she didn't have makeup on. She turn first to page 4585. Like okay. Here we go. Let's see it. Forget everything. Blame everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So you're an expert? Well, according to Amber Heard's team, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm an expert in makeup. Specifically on starting on line 16 where it says, let's talk about December 15th, 2015. I'm, you said four, five, eight, oh, four, I'm on four, four, eight, five, sorry. Mm -hmm. You said four, five, eight, four, five. Four, five, five eight, five. Pardon. Line 16. Okay. Was this a bad she don't want to make up? There's also swelling. And you can see on the angle of her face, she would have seen probably like some sort of an like a, a, what's the word for it? Like a line 16 where it says, let's talk about December 15th, 2015. Bump. You see that? Yes. Okay. And then do you see that your testimony yeah. about December 15th, 2015 follows? Let's see. It's just the first line or two. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I'd like you to turn to page 4603. Stalling? Smart. Trying to buy time? Starting I at would line too. 12. This is a bad four, time six, for her. 4603. Starting at line 12 and going on to page 4604, line 4. Okay. And do you see that you testify that defendant's exhibit 512, which is on the screen, yes. is a picture of the downstairs of the main apartment? That's correct. And the main apartment is Penthouse 5 in the Eastern Columbia Building, right? No, the, well, depends on what. The main apartment's Penthouse 3, generally, when we say main apartment. Penthouse 5 was where you had your closet? The downstairs was kind of like a, had some of my painting studio set up and a reception area. Upstairs was the closet. Got Mezzanine it. office yep. was in between. All right. So it's your testimony that Defendant's Exhibit 512 reflects damage to the penthouse, penthouse 5, that occurred during the December 15th, 2015 incident, right? I'm just not sure from which incident this is a picture of since I'm only looking at Even a though partial your floor. was asking you questions about December 15th, 2015. Why is she pretending like she doesn't? Test, this picture into evidence I, again in, in my relation to that incident uh, no. sorry go ahead what in relation to that incident on december 15th 2015 this exhibit defendant's exhibit you are the defendant number 512 was admitted mm -hmm. into evidence in this court you testified that this was the result of damage that occurred on december 15th 2015 yes or no She's mad. Uh, I just need to orient myself because I'm just looking at a picture of a partial no, picture of a No, Ms. Heard, you didn't just so look I at can't. a picture. You looked at your testimony. I, you pointed me towards the page and then asked me a question. I haven't actually reviewed it. I don't know if this well, was She's getting fucking roasted. Holy shit. Incident. Let's pull up. Let's actually leave up Defendant's 512 and please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 725. God damn. Which let's is already see. in evidence let's see, let's see. in redacted form, Your Honor. All right, thank you. You can publish. Just side by side. You've seen this photograph as well, right? I have. On the third day of your direct testimony, you testified that this photograph reflected spilled wine in Penthouse 5 on May 21st, 2016, mm -hmm. didn't you? I, again, what? I don't know because I'm looking at a partial picture of a floor. So unless you remove the metadata you've covered up, we could then tell. If you I remove, didn't cover it up, Your Honor. Could I, we unredact them Honor. so we could get contact? Yes. That's how it's in evidence. That's how All it's right. in evidence. Next question. Well, the metadata next to it is so that... Ms. Heard, Ms. Heard there is no question pending, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't be making argument to the jury. Sorry, it's I thought you had asked me about it. No, I didn't ask you about anything. <laughs> Let's look at your direct testimony from um, the third oh, day. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> yeah, that's too bad anything. Yeah, now she's the expert on metadata. And people said she didn't change it? Huh. That's interesting. Yeah! Yes, ma'am. Oh man, she's handing she's handing out binders, study guides. Oh my god. Thank you. That's brutal, man. So laughing at your sister's face. I mean, it's bad. I'll say that for Let's sure. Let's turn really to bad. page four seven five zero. Oh my day god. Day seventeen transcript. Uh, sorry, can you? Four seven five zero. Oh my god. This is just, bro, like, she's going in. You know, she knows how to leak things way better. She would have been way more efficient, but she doesn't know how to leak anything. Yeah, she would have been able to do it way better. Specifically but line 16. It. Isn't that delusions of grandeur? Do you see where Miss Bradahoff asked you to describe for the jury what took place on May 21st, 2016? I see that. Okay. And do you see that your testimony is reflected about May 21, 2015? Mm -hmm. Yes. That follows? Okay. Yes. Now let's turn to page 4804. At line 14. 4804. Starting at line 14? Yes. Through 4805, line 4. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to what line? Line four at four eight zero five. Oh, it's two lines then, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Do you see that you're testifying that defendants exhibit seven two five, which is reflected on the right side, reflects spilled wine on the floor in penthouse five? That's correct. Okay. And defendants exhibit five twelve and seven two five seem to be different versions of the same picture, don't they? That's correct. Okay. So which is it? Which one was taken on December 15th, 2015, or May 21st, 2016? If you remove the redacted metadata, you can find out. It's right there. Or if you're telling the truth, you would know. Recognize a portion of a, a, a spilled wine on a floor, and I'm supposed to know off the top of my head when you've no. lived through five years of this stuff? I don't think so. That's not how that works. Okay. Now you, she's getting her mad. Now, heard at okay. The of your cross examination last Ronald, week. May we approach. Yes. Oh no! See, they could tell that she was getting pressed. Like they're they're just trying to play for time so she can calm down. It's gonna come out. Yeah, like she uh, Camille was about to exercise the demons out of Amber, and so uh, you know the the lawyer team was like, "Oh my God, she's about to fucking explode. This is gonna make us look bad." What the hell is the meta metadata shit? Same picture? Well, yeah, it's the same picture. It's the same thing. Like it, it's like she wants to know. It's like uh, you know, w what's the answer on the test? Oh, I don't know. What does it say on the paper? You know, like what? What? How do you like? That doesn't even make sense. Almost charged from? Yeah, she doesn't remember any of this stuff. It's just crazy. Can't handle the truth. It's a cropped image. Well, I think it's very obvious that she just used the same image twice. And this is what I said before, right? Uh, about her making extra, um, uh, making extra evidence. And this is what happened with the pictures of her face that were so obviously proven to be false. Right. And Ladies that's and gentlemen it. in the gallery, I would ask that there be no words or no phrases, no words. No sounds at all coming from you. If I hear one more sound, I will clear the gallery and we will continue this testimony without anybody in the courtroom. Understood? I never heard Good. any of that. All right, your next question. Okay. Ms. Hurd, at the beginning of your cross-examination last week, I showed you an audio where you told Mr. Depp to tell the jury. That's what they get. Tell the judge, tell the world that he is a victim of domestic abuse. Do you remember that? That's correct. And you testified you found it hard to believe that Mr. Depp would tell the world that he's a victim of domestic abuse, didn't you? I said I find it hard to believe that he would do that knowing that he himself had beat me up for five years. But he has told the world that he's your victim of domestic abuse, hasn't he? Well, he started to say that only recently. He didn't make that claim up until very recently. So when we signed our divorce agreement and we signed a statement saying that neither party had ever said false claims for financial gain, it was relevant and important to me because I was the only one making the accusations. I was the only one making those claims. He wasn't doing that at the time. And he signed his name to it. You didn't expect as many people to show up and testify on his behalf. 
that did, did you? That... Incorrect. When you told this jury under oath that you never assaulted... Actually, strike that. Sorry, no, no. Um, when you told this jury under oath that you punched Mr. Depp because you thought of Mr. Depp pushing Kate Moss down the stairs, you didn't expect Ms. Moss to agree to testify that that never happened, did you? Incorrect. I know how many people will come out of the woodwork to be in support of Johnny. Then why so you think Ms. Moss needs to come out of the that? woodwork to testify for Mr. Depp? Then why Everybody say who was around this? in the 90s and the early aughts knew that rumor. I had heard that rumor from multiple people. Of course, that's what flashed through my head when my violent husband not only swung for me, but all of a sudden swung for my sister. Of course I thought of that. I did not expect her to show up or not expect her to show up. It didn't matter. It doesn't change what I believed at the time when we were on the stairs and I thought he was going to kill my sister by pushing her down the stairs. He's going to you told the jury sister. under oath that Mr. Depp was aggressive and trashed a trailer in Hicksville. You didn't expect the manager of the Hicksville property, Morgan Knight, to come forward and testify that that was untrue, did you? She's going to Incorrect. I've already been through trials with this man. I know how many people will come out in support of him. When you told this jury under oath that you had no idea that the paparazzi would be at the courthouse on May 27, 2016, you didn't expect a TMZ employee to show up to testify that TMZ had been alerted that you would be at the courthouse and knew exactly which side of your face to take a picture of, did you? I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed. Is I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support Kate of him Moss and will fall to his power? Domestic he is a very abusers. powerful man, and people love currying favor with powerful men. Curring and I know that and firsthand. Just like Harvey Weinstein for committing perjury. Excuse me. Yeah, just like Harvey Weinstein, right? I didn't. I didn't hear your question. You didn't hear Excuse my me? question. Kevin Spacey. Miss Vasquez, if you do mind, Curry. please just repeat the question. I didn't hear you. Curry favor and commit perjury in this courtroom. I have seen for a powerful people do this. Man? I have seen people do this time and time again. That's why I wrote the op-ed. You didn't expect Ben King, the house manager in Australia, to show up from England. He flew from England to testify that Mr. Duff's fingertip was found exactly where he said it would be. Did you? I have never heard Johnny testify to knowing where his finger was, or really, frankly, making a claim that he knew where it was when it was found. I've never heard Johnny claim that. You didn't expect Johnny Keenan does, Wyatt. Johnny has never Ms. actually Heard. said that. Ms. Heard. Uh-huh. Settle down. Can, yes. Ms. Heard, there's no question. Settle down. You didn't expect Keenan Wyatt, Mr. Depp's longtime sound technician, to show up and testify that Mr. Depp is not being fed lines through his earpieces, but instead of music, did you? Not that it matters much, but of course, of course I did. I, I know how his employees treat him. So you probably, I know how his, his team treats him. Of course I expected then that. Then why did okay, you so come you up here? you probably expected Isaac Baruch to come and testify for Mr. Depp, right? Yeah, I would have expected that. Um, Anybody I'm would. not sure I thought about that. Yeah, but you didn't expect Mr. Baruch to weep, to weep for Mr. Depp. After what you've put him through and so many nah. others of your life. I Did relate you? to I relate to Isaac because he and I There's are the no only ones who cried on. on this stand. Nothing further. All right. Cry, uh, redirect. Man, yeah, I remember Isaac. I liked Isaac. He was great. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Hurd, if, if Mr. Baruch felt misled, who misled him? Johnny. And I don't blame him. Man. I don't blame him from crying. This is horrible. Ms. Vasquez has suggested that you faked bruises on your face. Yes. Is that true? Absolutely not. That's I didn't need to. Not Did you ever true. fake an injury caused by Mr. Depp? No. Is any of the evidence of your injuries that has been put to the jury in this trial fake? No, absolutely not. And to the extent that there may be some confusion over when a picture of spilled wine was taken, why might that be? Objection. Is there so lack of foundation. Over fake an injury caused Mr. Depp. so many incidents of violence. There are so there's so many pictures. There's so much evidence. Most people don't have this kind of evidence for years. Five years and when I was saying that to Johnny on the phone in that recording I was saying for years this has been going on and I have pictures we have texts we have everything uh -huh. normally you don't get this amount of evidence that's what I was pointing out to Johnny it would be crazy to try to challenge this in this way it's crazy it's easy to to not know the context of a, a picture of spilled wine because there are so many more important details pictures and also so much I didn't photograph, so much I didn't we have know a that. objection non responsive. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Ooh. Next question. Did Mr. Depp abuse you physically? Yes. 
Verbally? Yes. Emotionally? Yes. Psychologically? Yes. How did the threats that Mr. Depp made against you individually years ago resemble what you've endured as a result of the Depp Waldman statements? Beyond the scope of cross, Your Honor. Uh, she can't oh. identify what it is specifically from the Johnny Depp Waldman statement. Promised me. Promised me he would ruin me. That he'd ruin my career. He'd take my life from me. Death was the only way out. And if I got out, this is what he'd do to me. He'd make me think of him every single day. He promised me global humiliation. You saw those texts. He he what he couldn't do. Followed through one individual, meaning Johnny, when he was he inviting a, a disgruntled employee over for a spot of purple to fix my flabby ass up. That revenge that he sought back then was just what he could do as an individual, calling the studio to get me fired, trying to block camp. Objection, Your Honor. Lack working. of foundation, speculation, hearsay, it's all non-responsive. Of... I'll sustain us to non-response. Ms. Hurd, how did those things that you just testified to, that Mr. Depp did, how did those resemble what happened to you after the Depp Waldman counterclaim statements were made? He's trying to contextualize it so they can win those the defamation are, case. Objection, just... Your Honor. Lack of but foundation. But there, there's no difference that she can make She's off, off of that. Overruled. Thank you. People are hating on her before and after. Those are just an echo of what I'm living through today. It's uh -huh. like what I'm living in right now, what you see in this courtroom is an echo. This courtroom and the other courtroom he dragged me into to do the same thing He again. dragged me into. That's just an echo of the violence and the abuse that I suffered within our relationship. The campaigns to have me fired, the blocking me to try to ruin my career, the threats he's made to humiliate me globally are being lived out in real time in front of you, ladies and gentlemen, for the past six weeks and for the whole world since our camera's here. No further questions. Thank you so much, Amber. All right, Ms. Hurd, you can have a seat next to your attorney. Oh, my God. She was upset. She admitted the, the op-ed op -ed was about Johnny. She did. Uh, yeah, of course she did. Why wouldn't she? Wonder how this all started. I love how, like, she's turning this into, like, basically, and this is the same thing the entertainment individual, uh, the woman that the anti-wizard was, like, obviously fucking flirting with, uh, like, while she was on the stand. Uh, that's what she said, too, is that Johnny Depp is at fault because he has the audacity to defend himself from these accusations. This man could possibly be so brazen, so evil, so uh, judgmental and fucking maniacal that he would defend himself from accusations. Oh my God, been staring down Amber? Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, she's gonna go, you've gotta understand, is that Amber Heard, I mean, this case is paying way more money than Aquaman, so it makes sense that she's acting better. But the fact is that I don't believe this shit. I don't. I actually, I don't fucking believe it. I think that she's full of shit because there's multiple bits of evidence that are fake. Multiple bits of evidence of fake. Yeah, of course, it's fake. I think how could you? That's right. I know people get mad. I see this all the time on Twitter. They're angry uh, at me because I'll I'll say something mean and uh, <laughs> don't care. I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And so anyway, um, yeah, I, I think I think she's full of shit. Well, not anymore because she you know was on Johnny's bed. But you know, I I, I think yeah, I I think that's it. I think that she's making it up. I think she's lying. Uh, I think that there are instances maybe where Johnny was mean to her. Now, why would that happen? I don't really know. Was she the instigator of that? Was she being rude to him, and then that was with him, and then her having the audacity to tell them that she uh, what do you call it? That, that she was the one that couldn't get away from him. Meanwhile, Johnny Depp, there's plenty of record evidence that was recorded uh, privately that, that he just wanted to have some peace Witness, away from her. Your Honor, the counterclaimant Amber Heard rests. All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard all the evidence you're going to hear in this matter. What I propose doing is to uh -huh. go ahead and give you the rest of the afternoon off so you can have a good restful afternoon and evening, and we will do closing arguments tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and then the case will be submitted to you for deliberations. Just to give you a little logistics of how that will go, uh -huh. tomorrow um, I won't give you a time limit as far as how long you can deliberate in the afternoon into the evening. 
Uh, I will tell you, within reason, I will tell you I do not serve dinner, so keep that in mind, okay? Okay. Uh, you will not be deliberating on Saturday or Can't Sunday so or Monday, because Monday is a holiday. I would like you to have you back here Tuesday morning, um, uh, at least by 9 o'clock. If you want to mm -hmm. come earlier, that's up to you. Uh, you can decide as a group if you want to come earlier than 9 o'clock, but you have to be here at least by 9 o'clock to, to resume your deliberations again. And again, on Tuesday night, and if you have to go to Wednesday or Thursday, oh, she said you have to go to Wednesday. the time that when you take your breaks is up to you, as long as you take them uh, together as far as not having any deliberations unless all of the jurors are in the room at the same time. When you take your lunch is up to you. And then again in the evening, within reason, I'll let you go as long as you'd like to go. Okay? So have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay? Do not discuss the case with anybody. Don't do any outside research. Tomorrow fucking morning. Oh, my God. Uh, it's like, what, what is this here? Let me see what's going to happen now. What's she going to say now? They came back 10 minutes. Amber guilt. Yeah, imagine like, yeah, I, she's guilty of everything, and uh, she's wrong. Uh, we don't have to be here tomorrow. I don't want to have to wake up early. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. All right. All right. Yep, we'll see go you ahead later. and take a, a modified lunch recess just till 1250. We'll come back at 1250. We just have a few jury instructions left we have to do. Make sure we get the verdict form taken care of. Okay. I want you to review the laptop that we have mocked up and make sure everybody agrees what's on it. Um, and also, I want you to look through all your exhibits and make sure we're all on the same page before you leave. I'll make sure you have copies of the jury instructions in the order that I'm going to read them, and you should be able to prepare for your closing arguments for tomorrow, okay? Thank all you. right, we'll see you at 1250 then. Okay, all right. all right. We'll wait to see what they're going to say after the uh, after that. I'm actually really curious about this. Can Johnny use the five hours still? I am honestly not sure. Like, I'm going to be totally real. I am not sure. I don't know what's going to happen. I think we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, we're going to give it like an hour. We're going to go through the lunch break. We're going to go from there. And uh, I think that's it. And uh, let's see, your chat Jerry simulator. Yeah, everybody thinks Amber's guilty. I know that. Uh, it's not a surprise at all. And uh, what's this here? Prep for tomorrow's closing arguments. I'm worth watching. Well, I, I think we'll wait just to see what it's going to be, okay? They want to enjoy it. Tell people they were juriers for Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, sure. Um, it, it's over. Both team rest their cases. Holy shit. So tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow's the big day where we find out who's getting fucked. Oh my god. Like, I, I'm actually so excited for that. I wonder what that's going to be. Yeah, I, I, I really do. I wonder what that's going to fucking be. Bro, without the jury, waves at Johnny. Amber has zero chance. Interesting, they rest their case with so much time left. It is very interesting. I, I wasn't sure that was going to happen. Uh, that is crazy, man. Uh, we don't find out tomorrow. Wait, so tomorrow is closing arguments. Won't have verdict until next week, probably. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay, all right. That sounds good. It's going to be on Tuesday. All right, that's fine with me, too. Yeah, sure, it's okay. When's the Epstein trial when we need it? Well, they took care of that before it happened. Uh, yeah, that, that wasn't an issue. And uh, I, I think that this is a... Uh, I think this is a pretty good... Uh, this is the first one of these court cases that I've really followed uh, the whole way through, right? Like, going through this whole thing and talking about it. Uh, this is the first time I've really followed one of these all the way through. And I'll be honest, I think that it's... Uh, uh, it, it's quite interesting. What I found to be most interesting is how deliberately disingenuous it is. Like how, how just misleading, deliberately disingenuous, how many obvious lies are put up there and people are just fucking being misled, the jury's being misled, everything like that, like the Depp Waldman statements. Like it's just it's just such horse shit, man. Could be next Tuesday or Friday. Yeah, I'm not sure. Did you watch the OJ trial? No, I was too young for that. I didn't see that at all. But I think that this has been uh pretty fucking crazy. I wonder, like, what do you guys think is gonna happen? Like, uh, not like, what do you want to happen? But like, what do you guys think is going to happen? Because they both have defamation cases against each other. And on top of that, you know, is one of them going to be guilty? I, I think both lose. I think that that is probably the most, the most, li I, I think that like in tier, in like tiers of likely outcomes, highest tier is they both lose. Second highest tier is Johnny wins. And then the tier below that is Amber wins. I think that Amber winning the defamation case is probably the least likely to occur. Mm. Closing arguments are vital. Yeah, I think so. I'll be curious to see what they say after all of this because 
Now, I, I really don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know what they're going to be talking about at all. Uh, let me see here, and uh, I'll read some more stuff as well. Uh, Johnny wins the vote. Too, public, too hard to prove defamation, though? Yeah, I think they should change that uh, for sure. Johnny literally lost jobs because of her. She didn't lose anything. Well, she did lose a lot of things, but the things that she lost were not an outcome of uh, Johnny's words and Johnny saying that. Uh, Amber will win this one legally. Johnny has to sprint up a seven-mile mountain. Uh, it is hard to prove defamation. That's what my understanding is. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Let me go back over it. I'll read a few more of these. Johnny wins true ending. Yeah. His life is forever more changed for the worse. Yeah. Johnny's life is definitely fucked. Uh, his finger is fucked. Uh, his reputation is fucked. There will always be people that think that he did something wrong. That That's fundamentally what it is. And if this never happened, his career would be in a better spot than it is now. Now, I think that's ultimately what it comes down to, is that, yes, obviously, he won in the court of public opinion. I think most people are on his side. But the truth is that everybody would have been on his side if it wasn't for this situation because it wouldn't have happened. So there would have never been a side to be on in the first place.